Hi, this is Derek with Knives Ship Free, and I'm here with Jim Stewart, and we're going to talk about the warranty process at Bark River Knives. Right. Jim, what, with the Bark River warranty, what are the limitations of the warranty? Well, the limitations of the warranty would probably be nothing, because we're here to fix whatever's wrong with it, whatever it may be. So it doesn't matter what they do to the knife, you can fix it? No, it does not matter what they do to the knife, we can fix it or at the very, at the very most extent, replace the knife completely. So we're going to follow a knife all the way through the process. Uh, this is a Nomad. What was wrong with the Nomad? This particular Nomad had a gouge on the handle just behind the guard on the back of the knife. Jim, what's one of the more interesting items that you've received in for warranty? Somebody had actually taken one of our knives and dropped it down an elevator shaft and it landed tip first and it broke about an inch of the tip off. It was, very, it was a longer knife. I think it might have been a Bravo II. Um, they took the pieces, sent it into us, and we replaced the knife. So Jim, what are you doing here? Well, right now I'm removing the material on the back of the knife where that nick was. And really all I'm doing is just taking it down until the nick is gone and keeping everything nice and straight and clean and true all from, uh, from the guard to the pommel. So you're even working up there on that guard? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. well you have to. Um, the, the lines of the handle can't be interrupted and can't be less than spec that we would ship out for a normal production knife for that day anyway. Everything has now, to meet our normal spec. Now if a knife comes in for warranty and it doesn't meet the, the specs, what do you do with it? We completely refinish it. And, and, and what if you can't refinish it to the point where it meets the specs? Well then we would do everything in our power to make it right. If there's something wrong with the handle, we would take the knife apart, add in fresh material for free, and get the knife back working to, uh, to spec. So now it looks to me like you're doing the exact same thing you did before. Why, why do you keep doing the same thing over and over? Well, we go through a series of belt progression. So what you saw me doing earlier on the contact wheel was actually removing the material and making sure that the entire surface was congruent. And on the slack of the belt right here, you can see me going up through, through um, ascending grits. So, so you're actually having to completely refinish this handle as if it were brand new. Exactly, exactly. And right now, right now I'm on our 2,000 grit step. So every knife starts at 80 for shape, and then and then goes to the final shape, and then goes completely through. Okay. So every knife goes through as just a normal production knife, and it, we bring it up to the same level of polish that we would do if we were building an entire run of them that day. Great. And uh, so once it's at the uh, that buffing wheel, then why do you go on to this next wheel? This is the grease wheel where we typically do a high polish on the metal that's on our handles. So this would be... This so the buffing was for the handle and this is for the guard. Right. This, the buffing was for the handle, this is for the guard. Two different wheels, two different types of compound. Now why are you working on the back of the knife? I'm working on the back of the knife because it was a little bit tarnished and I thought it needed to be prettier. And yeah. our customers deserve to have nice looking knives. And then at this point, this wasn't what it was, what it came in for, but you're sharpening the knife as well. We want to make sure that absolutely every knife comes comes up to perfect spec. And you saw me polishing the blade to get all, any anything out, and then sharpening it, and then now it's back up to normal factory standards. Yep, and it looks like you had a tray of them. And <laughs> she's putting the the etch back on the knife because when you were working on it, you you just polished yeah, the we, blade. We, right through. Right, we buff that we buff that edge right off to make sure that you have a nice, clean, even polish. We could probably go around it, and sometimes we can get away with that, but it's better safe than sorry, and just have, take take the edge completely off and put on a brand new edge. And then you ship it back out to people, and and uh, all the all that shipping is is a lot of work. Yes, it is. So there you have it. That's the uh, Bark River warranty process. Every time you send a knife in for warranty, that's what happens to it.